The creators of CryptoPunks Lava Labs have been up to some pretty weird stuff lately. Two-faced, money-grubbing, how? The NFTs were created back in 2017, but what most aren't aware of is that the current punks are actually version 2. These are the ones you'll have seen the collection valued at multiple six-figure sums, whereas the original punks were scrapped due to a glitch in the smart contract. Like all good anime protagonists, people that cared about them find a way to revive the collection and reissue them as ERC721 tokens, just with a different colour background. The unofficial version 1 punk website claims this recovery of the original punk's smart contract is a community-led and rapidly growing phenomenon consisting of original punk claimants, NFT historians, digital archaeologists and extremely talented developers. This is where it starts to get a little bit more sketchy. Lava Lab put out a tweet denying the authenticity of these version 1 punks, asking the reader to draw his own conclusions. I know what conclusions I'm coming to based on the next move. Lava decided to interact with a smart contract, wrapping and selling their V1 crypto punks. Dump it. So they decide to provide value to their community by selling these version 1 punks that they don't like and use the money given to them by the community that's now bought them to buy back some more of their V2 crypto punks. They do like so many mixed messages. We will dump unofficial products onto the market. And these version 1 punks don't have value as we don't like them. But objectively they do have value as we sold them for a certain amount of value. And also by selling them we also admit they have value. Otherwise we wouldn't be selling them because as a business you don't sell something that has no value. You just throw it away or keep it in storage. It's opportunistic and ethically bankrupt, inconsistent to their own rhetoric. Lava Labs made $622,000 off of these punks, and following the backlash, have decided to give 210 ETH to the Rainforest Foundation in a desperate scramble to salvage the tattered reputation. Okay, so the bad dudes trying to look good. James Bond star with the sanctuary to cover the blood diamond mine with me. Good. There's still one more twist. After selling their version 1s for more than half a million dollars, they sent a DMCA notice to OpenSea, essentially threatening a lawsuit against the platform for infringing on copyright material. Two-faced, money-grubbing cowboys. You know why the Yankees always win, Frank? Because they have Mickey Mantle? No. It's because the other teams can't stop staring at those damn pinstripes. 